She's alive. Incredible. She's really still alive. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ido. Do you have a name? My name? After all this time, she's not likely to remember much. I think I can restore most of it. You'll be keeping her then? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Here, Ido. Huh? Oh, thank you, Galley. How do you feel today, Gally? Have you adapted to your new body yet? Oh, yes, Mr. Gons. It feels wonderful to move about so freely. <laughs> well, Ida was the best cyber doctor in town, you know. <laughs> now, I wouldn't go that far. But, Gally, wandering off by yourself can be dangerous. Especially at night, with that killer stalking young girls for their brains. And that's not even mentioning the spine thieves. That's a fact! One minute I'm home, the next I'm spineless! You see, with cyborg technology, most body parts can be replaced with synthetics. Everything except the human spine. And that means that there's a thriving black market of ruthless organ brokers who'll take the back from under your shirt. Hey, Doc! Huh? Now, this is giving me more trouble than I expected. I'll come back and finish it tomorrow. Well, thanks for trying. Would you like something to drink before you go, Hugo? Ah, no thanks. I've still got another 30 houses or so to hit today. Well, see you tomorrow. Bye. Courteous and hardworking. Rare qualities in a young man these days. Am I right, Ido? Mm-hmm. Yes. Sadly true. chips to pay for this. No, don't worry. I'm not at the point of starvation yet. You can pay me when you get the funds. Good morning, Ido. Oh, good morning, Gally. Huh? What happened to your arm? Uh, this? <laughs> I guess I must have tripped. <laughs> Are you okay? He must have done it when he was out last night. Can't you see I'm in the middle of doing something up here? Uh, uh, hey, you live here with the doc, don't you? That's right. My name's Gally. Gally? That's a pretty strange name. <laughs> You're just dumb. I think it's a pretty name. You're right. It suits you. By the way, my name is... It's Hugo, isn't it? Huh, you knew it already. Mm-hmm. Uh. Hugo? Huh? Do you have a family here? Nope. Oh, that 
It's impressive that you can make a living all by yourself. <laughs> you think so? That's impressive. Uh, what is? Oh, come on. I'm talking about Zalem, of course. Oh, I see. Hey, why don't you come with me? To, uh, to, to where? To a better place. Come on. <laughs> hey, Doc! I got it working now! Ada! Come on, follow me. <laughs> it's up this way. Wait up. Here, take my hand. <laughs> I think the view of Zalem from here is just the greatest. Sometimes, if I keep staring at it, I can feel it calling to my soul. What kind of people live there, I wonder? My brother wanted to go to Zalem once. He even broke the law and built an illegal airship. As for me, I'll just make lots and lots of money until finally I can go there myself. Hmm? Just, why are you looking at me so funny? <laughs> but the look on your face is so interesting. <coughs> More interesting than Zalem? Let's be real. Uh -uh. I mean, look at this place. What a disgusting cesspool of humanity. It's nothing but the dumping grounds for Zalem, you know? These people are nothing but vultures. Feeding on the trash and carrion that falls from the sky. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> you really don't understand anything, do you? Are you from the Outlands or something? I really don't know. I have no memories, hmm? no past. Even my name, Galley, is something made up. I see. Hmm. But in a way, it's, it's not so bad. <laughs> not having a past means that you've got no memories to haunt you. A clean slate for your soul. But why, Sharin? Why do you want to go back to Zalem so badly? I have to. There are things that I didn't get a chance to finish. Now, wait a second. Do you really think you can manage it? Why else would I be in Scrap Iron City? The only work for someone of my skill in this dump is repairing crippled cyborgs. So what's wrong with fixing cyborgs? It's a crime, squandering a talent like yours in this backwater. You know you could do much better up in Zalem. Does it amuse you to play fallen angel to these insects? An angel of mercy? Ido, you have no idea how low you've fallen. You were Zalem's finest, the best cybernetics doctor ever. I don't understand. Where is your pride? My pride is not the problem. What has become of yours, Sharin? I'm not going to spend the rest of my life here. I'll find a way back to Zalem somehow. I'll claw my way back with my bare hands if I have to. I'll do whatever it takes. Sharin, I know it's no longer my business, but as your former partner, please trust me on this. You mustn't get involved with the factory! Ido, this is the last time I'll ask. Will you help me return? No. I see. I'm sorry.
I'm a hunter warrior. Oh, I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, brains are brains, even if they belong to a man. But if you'll wait, I'll carve them up for you. <laughs> Are you all right? Is your body damaged? Gally! Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Those moves you made, very impressive. I didn't know you could fight. It surprised me too. My body moved by itself. A flash of rage coiled inside me, and I sprang. And I, I nearly had him. One more second and he would have been mine. Still, I can't believe that you saved me. <laughs> yeah. Your bounty is 100,000 chips. Of course, this partner would have been worth 10 times that. Brain eating mutants are bad for business. So, are you in the market for some new body parts today? I knew you'd find out eventually. I'm what they call a hunter-warrior, a bounty hunter. You see, once there was something called the police, whose purpose was to prevent crime. These days, the factory just puts a bounty on the heads of wanted criminals and lets hunter-warriors like me do the dirty work. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Gally? I want to be a hunter-warrior, too. Don't be stupid! You don't know what you're saying! I didn't give you limbs to do things like this. You don't have to work. All you have to do is, is be beautiful. If you want money, I can... This isn't about money! This is something for me! This is for you? Yes! Tonight I felt something new. Like I was really alive for the first time. You don't know what you're saying! I don't want you soiling your perfect hands with blood! Do you think I'm some doll for you to play with?! And you'll really get me to Zalem? I said so, didn't I? Really? Enough! Don't worry your pretty head about it. Your job is to upgrade the gladiators for the Colosseum. How soon you go to Zalem will be determined by the quality of your work and the size of my profits. Sure, help me. 
My whole body is on fire. You're not the pampered star of the Colosseum anymore. Why should I work on a brain-eating junkie with a price on his head? Damn that hunter, Ito. And where did he get the little cyber bitch? What? Absolutely right. You're not my toy. Your life is your own. But why a hunter? Is it some demon hidden in your untapped memory? registration number on your brain tissue. Please hold still. My brain? Fingerprints, voice prints, and retina patterns can be changed. Can you think of a better way to tell one cyborg from another? Mm. Starting the procedure now. Incredible. To cause this much damage with a single impact would require an unbelievable amount of power. Only Ido could accomplish such a feat. Garishka. <laughs> I'll not only rebuild you, I'll make you more than a match for Ido's little toy. I'll use every skill and dirty trick I know. Imprinting completed! But that was so simple. That's because the hard part is the job itself. Mm. So, what is Solemn really like? The official answer to that is no comment. myself as a hunter warrior. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another glorious victory for the record books. Where are we going? Uh hunters hang out. I'll need to introduce you around. It's from the tubes that connect the factory with Zalem. Officially, it's caused by the moon's tidal pole. Hmm. <laughs> it can't be! Garishka! I've come to pay you back, baby. <laughs> oh my god! It's Garishka! What is he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, are you ready to play with me? Uh, Gally! Someone give us a hand! I'm freaking oh, out! Oh, 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 <laughs> are you going to run away?
I accept. Uh, Gally? What a good girl! <laughs> Sharin, don't tell me you rebuilt this monster! What? With a bounty on his head. But still, I can't help but wonder which one will win. <gasps> Suffer, Edo. I want to see your face when your little toy is broken. But such eloquent pain belongs on a more suitable stage. One of broken steel and iron. business. Hmm? Mr. Vector!
Hugo? Who knows where that young fool's gone off to? I know that's right. The way he talks about going to Zalem and Misers' his credit chips. He's funny in the head, all right. He really thinks Zalem will let him in. What a little fool. Now, what was it I told you three years ago? Give me 10 million chips and I'll make sure you get to Zalem. Yes, sir. Normally, it would take a lifetime to acquire that kind of capital. But you, you want to do it in three years. I must say I'm impressed. Oh, it's not that difficult. <laughs> You've got a lot of untapped potential. <laughs> no, I'm not that special. Here, try this. It's the real thing, straight off the tube for Zalem. Not that junk they send us. Oh. <laughs> Smooth, isn't it? Can't you just taste that essence of Zalem? Hugo, I don't have to tell you this, but most of the goods collected, refined, and packaged here in Scrap Iron City just get exported to Zalem through the factory tubes. The crap we get to keep for ourselves is just that. Now, seeing as I'm in a position to oversee those exports, why shouldn't I share in the benefits? Say, Hugo, why don't you join my operation? But I want I want to go to Zalem. Zalem? Are you out of your mind? Do you really want to be homeless and friendless in a place like Zalem? Trust me, you wouldn't like it. On the other hand, by helping me deliver my shipments to Zalem, you could achieve real wealth and power. You could live in the lap of luxury, just like the citizens of Zalem. Think it over, Hugo. <laughs> Hugo. Hugo. What's wrong? Did they make you drink? You and the car. I don't care who you are. If you've hurt Hugo, you'll answer to me. <laughs> Hugo, I'll be waiting for your answer. Hang in there, Hugo. Oh, my um, head. Here's some water. See what uh, happens when you drink? I'm not a kid, and it was only one drink. Hmm. You're not acting like yourself. What happened? Just what are you doing here anyway? Uh, well, um, I just really wanted to see you, I guess. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Gally, do you have a secret dream? Zalem's not just a fantasy of wealth and power to me. I want to see what it's like up there, so high and far away. I understand. There'll be sights I've never seen waiting for me. Wonders I can't even imagine. Mm. That's what I want. Hugo, how much does it cost to go to Zalem in credits? Huh? Take a squeeze of that oh, kid. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> hey, kid. <gasps> <laughs> so that's your little game, is it? Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Caught with your hands on my spine, no less. Now, let's take a look at your face. Take the mask off. <laughs> you bastard! Let Yuko huh? go! Yuko? I run, you moron! <laughs> oh, no! Leave him alone! Dancing! <laughs> <laughs> Uh. 
quick-thinking little bastard. But I'll bet there's already a price on your head, you go. You. What? Trouble? A hunter warrior, disguised as a customer. He killed Tanji, and he knows my name. Calm down. It's over, and nothing you can do now will make any difference. I want you to bring all the money you've saved to my office. You mean you'll send me to Zalem? Zalem? Huh? Look, we'll talk about that when you get here. You go. You don't have much time. Yes, sir. Zariki! Oh, what a losing streak! <sighs> Tanji. <laughs> oh, it's all over, folks. Zuriki's no match. Damn. I guess it's time to rebuild Zuriki again. Dr. Sharin, that's your department. Why should I even bother? I've used everything. All my tricks and techniques. Hmm. I can't win. What was that? So, when am I going to go to Zalem? Hey, 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 take a look at the number of bounties this kid has collected. Her name's Galley. Hmm. This could be a hot ticket. A female gladiator. Hey, wait a minute. This is the girl from Hugo's place. <gasps> Ido's Galley? Hmm, you mean you know her? <laughs> Oh, it's like that, is it? <laughs> now, wait a second. You want Galley to fight in the Colosseum? Absolutely. <laughs> It'll be a smash. We could call her the Battle Angel. You don't really think Galley will fight for you? Of course she will. She'll do anything I ask to keep her boyfriend from losing his head. Doctor, I want you to find Galley. <gasps> Why should I? Do this for me. <laughs> and then I'll send you to Zalem. Fourteen bodies in seven days? <laughs> What's with the sudden mercenary zeal? Galley, when you became a hunter-warrior, you said it wasn't for the money. <laughs> that was before. I'm saving so I can go to Zalem with Hugo. <laughs> Golly, who said that you could go to Zalem? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Have you told him how you feel? Well, no. And how does Hugo feel about you? Well, uh... <laughs> Amazing. Such depth of feeling. And now for feeling. the latest bounty list huh? bulletin. Number seven, <gasps> Hugo. Wanted for spine theft and murder. Bounty, 80,000 Hugo? Kits. Repeat, number seven, He's Hugo. Wanted. wanted for spine theft and murder. No! Bounty, 80,000 chips. <laughs> Nine million five hundred thousand chips. Just a few more. I'm not going. I'll sneak back into town. Back to Mr. Vector's place. I'm not going to give up on Zalem. Th that's crazy! The hunters are looking for you! Don't you 
understand? Going to Zalem's more than just an escape from this scrap metal prison for me. It's a war! A war between me and this garbage heap! No matter how insignificant I may be, I still have my dreams, my pride. I won't let this corroded metal monster grind me into the dirt. I'll be leaving as soon as it gets dark. Go home before you get involved any further. Bye! Hugo, listen. I love you, Hugo. Huh? And I have to know how you feel about me. Why are you bringing up something stupid like this now? Go home! <laughs> Answer my question! <laughs> Galley. So now we're partners in crime, are we? <laughs> My mouth is tingling. It's like I kissed a battery. <laughs> it's the lightning. On days like this, my body takes on a charge. I've wondered about the scar on your wrist. The scar? It's sort of a keepsake of my brother. A keepsake? I used to have a brother, much older than myself. He had a wife, my sister-in-law, and they raised me together. The two of them cared for me as if they were really my own parents. We had a good life together. My brother was an engineer for the factory, and he enjoyed his work. And my sister-in-law was loving and generous. But it wasn't enough for my brother. He'd look up at Zalem, yearning. I want to go to Zalem someday. He must have said that a million times. Finally, he acted. He could get to Zalem, he decided, by balloon. The factory, of course, had prohibited the creation of any kind of flying machine and put a heavy bounty on the head of anyone who built one. My brother knew what the consequences could be, but he followed his heart anyway. When I was 10 years old, the airship was completed. But on that very night, the hunter-warrior came. My sister-in-law had betrayed my brother, reporting him to the factory. And the hunter? <sighs> What happened to your sister-in-law? I don't know. I suppose she must be living somewhere with someone. I think I know what your sister-in-law must have been feeling. I'd be jealous too if, if my lover was obsessed with something I couldn't understand. Uh, you're scaring me. <laughs> At first I think I'd go along with it. But after so long I might come to believe that he'd even leave me. If I couldn't have him myself, then hating him, killing him, might be easy. <laughs> that, that's kind of drastic, but I suppose you'd have to kill me to keep me away from Zalem. That's true, <gasps> isn't it? So what am I to do now? Uh, um... <laughs> Should I kill you, or free um... you? How much more do you need to get to Zalem? Uh, about 500,000 chips. Okay. I'll take you to Vectors. What? I'm not taking my eyes off someone who's so important to me. But, Gally... I've hidden some chips myself. It should be about 600,000. Go to Zalem with it. And then, if everything goes right, I'll save up enough to follow you. Uh, right. <laughs> Don't worry. Go. Gather your chips. Mm.
dare you are. <laughs> too little, too late, Gally. You've beaten me to every kill since Gruishka, but this time the head and the bounty belong to me. Just like his brothers. No, Yugo belongs to me! Oh, so that's the way it is. Don't you know there's no room for things like love or mercy in a hunter's code? <laughs> if you want him so badly, come and take him. I'd rather have your head anyway. Prepare yourself! <laughs> All right, this will stop your flitting about! This desperate effort can delay me forever! Don't worry, Gally. The operation was a success. Thank you. Well, the reason he lived was because of you, Gally. If you hadn't bypassed your own life support system, feeding your blood into his arteries, his brain would have died of oxygen starvation. That was really quick thinking. But I wasn't the one who did the bypass. It was Shirin. Shirin? Huh. So she's the one. What? Yugo's dead? Yes. Killed by a hunter, and then struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes that meal ticket. What about Galley? I have no clue as to her current whereabouts. Scrap Iron City's a big place. It may take me quite a while to find her. You know what? I'm leaving. Hey, wait a minute! I think it's time to send you to Zala. Hugo was tricked. The story about paying passage to Zala is just a scam. It's not possible for someone from Scrap Iron City to go to Zala. I ought to know, Galley. The brand on my forehead means that I was once a citizen of Zala. It's all a lie. No! 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 <laughs> Gally, get out there and find Hugo! <sighs> get out of my way! What? Who in the hell are you? So you're the one who lied to Hugo. <laughs> you mean that Zolom thing? Hey, it's not my fault if someone's an easy mark. And you need the uh, money so badly? All right then, uh, take it! Hugo destroyed his life because of you. Hugo ruined his life stealing money for a lie! Why? 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 Huh? You! What have you done with Sharin? 
Huh? Over there! Ah! My god. Organ replacements. This was Shirin? <laughs> the order comes down from Zalem every month. I don't know what they do with them. I'm coming. Wait for me, Zalem. I'll be with you soon. <sighs> oh. Oh. He just climbed out on the tomb. This is a restricted area. Please keep out. What's that ring for? It's a defense ring. Against rodents and other vermin. Zalem drops them periodically to keep rats from climbing the tubes. Joke! My entire existence pointless and unnecessary. Coward! There's more to life than Scrap Iron City and Zalem! Don't you know you're my secret dream, Hugo? We can find a way! Begin a new life! Uh, we could. Huh. 